So I'm standing here now with Lynn at the Wally's Delicatessen in Cardiff, Wales. Wales, uh, you seem to be an expert in terms of uh, cheese. Can you tell me something more about Welsh cheese, please? Hello. Um, yes, we have been producing excellent Welsh cheese now for at least 30 years. The most commonly known cheese, the well-known famous one, is Caerphilly. And we have two Caerphillys here. I've got your raw milk Gorwith Caerphilly and it's a more mature Caerphilly with the rind and it's a, um, then we have what I call an everyday Caerphilly, young, no rind, this one's milkier, dry at them. This is the cheese that the miners used to take with them in their lunch boxes. Um, sadly no, not, no longer made in Caerphilly um, due to um, the war and also Cardiff expanding we've lost the farms but these are both made in West Wales okay. um, where the grass is good and something else now um, these are family run dairies the Knarf one is interesting it's going down through the generations they started in 1983 and now the children run the dairy they have produced now a brand new cheese which is very unusual it's a sheep's milk brie very creamy very light but it's going really well at the moment but we just need to get people more into it because people are lactose free everything it just gives them a brie another interesting cheese from Wales that we have is the Tyvee now the Tyvee cheese is made by John Savage he came over to, in the 80s from Holland, he wanted to start up a farm where he could produce raw milk cheese. He's been here since then. He's now making whiskey, but he does all the cheeses in the Dutch style. They're all raw milk, and he flavors them with cumin, with nettle. The unusual one is seaweed, which you probably know as lava bread. And we have an extra mature. These are all quite strong and slightly salty against the kafili which is very very mild thank you very much and that was very impressive i'm looking forward to taste all this lovely you're very very welcome thank you